Hi and welcome to Newcastle College's Student Guide to Microsoft Teams, a quick easy guide to demonstrate how you can log into Teams and some of its features in order to ensure learning and communication continues beyond college grounds. Now, you can log into Microsoft Teams from anywhere and it's accessible regardless of your device. We'll take a look at the different accessible routes depending on the technology you have available. So let's start with accessing Microsoft Teams via a web browser, which means you're either accessing it via your laptop or a PC. All you need to do is type in Microsoft Teams into your search engine. Now you might find that you get this error message about viewing it from the United States. That's absolutely fine. Just click that you're in the United Kingdom. Once you're on the right site, you're going to have two options, sign up for free or sign in. You don't need to sign up, the college has already done that for you, so you just need to head straight to sign in. You now need to use your college email to sign in. Its format is S, then your student ID, then the at sign, and then students.ncl-call.ac.uk. In terms of your password, it's just your normal college password, just like you were logging into the computers. Now, once you're logged in, it should look a little bit like this. Now, don't worry if you haven't already been added to a team. Your teachers will sort that out for you for whichever course it is you're taking. All you need to do now is select the team that you're in and you'll be faced with this screen, which is your conversation screen. So the main one is for posts, conversation posts. And as you can see along the top tab there, you've got files, class notebooks, assessments, etc. I'll leave that for you to have a little play around with. But this is basically how your teachers are going to be able to keep you updated, how they're going to be able to give you assignments or um, resources for you to continue your learning outside of college. Now, if you look to the left hand side of the page, you'll see a very small blue um, blue sidebar with um, you've got a Teams tab there, which takes you back to your main menu. You've got a chat facility there, which is where you can contact your teacher directly if you'd like to. So take a look around, play with the menus, etc. And if there's any questions, just get in touch with your teachers. So what if you have a mobile device such as an iPad, an iPhone or an Android phone? Well, let's take a look. So if you go into your App Store and search for Microsoft Teams, once that's downloaded, you'll get this sign in option again, just like with the web browser. Make sure that you use your college email as well as your college password, just like you were shown earlier in the video. If you do get an error, just have another go. Press accept for notifications and work your way through your menus. When you first log in, this is what you'll see. And on that bottom menu bar, you've got several different options, just like you had on the web browser, but it was on the left hand side. The activity tab is like a timeline of notifications. The chat facility is where you can contact your teacher direct. And then you've got that Teams facility, which is what we're going to focus on in just a second. The following one, Assignments, is where your teachers might upload documents for you to complete assignments at home. Going back to the Teams tab, once you have been added into a team, what you'll see is like a timeline of events and notices that are going on with the team itself. If you have a look along the top bar as well, as well as posts, you've also got a file section and you've got a more section, which is where you can access the assignments and class notebooks for the team that you are in. Now, it is just a case of downloading these apps and these um, facilities on web browsers, having to play around with them and see what works for you. Your teachers, if they haven't already, will be in touch to get you onto Microsoft Teams and we're here to support you all the way. If you need to, go back to the beginning of this video, play it a few times just to get your head around it if you need to. And don't forget there's always good old Google. Where any troubleshooting questions can be answered. Thanks for your time. And I hope you enjoy your online learning experience with Microsoft Teams and Newcastle College.